let me just ask you this. Look, we're gonna start this video off like this. Have you ever heard of a brown chicken stew? If you haven't, I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to make it. So let's get it, folks. Okay, so look, I'm gonna bring you guys in there so we can look at the ingredients, right? First, let me just show you this. I'm gonna be doing it in a Dutch oven. You can do it in a Dutch oven, you can do it in a cast iron, you know, skillet, however you want to, because listen, I like to call it really like a one pan, you know, one pot meal, right? Reason, because we are gonna brown in here. Now, let's just talk about the star. I want you guys to take a look. Look, I didn't want to bore you guys. Look, this is already marinated. If you look down at the description box below, I'll have the instructions and the full ingredient list down below, right? That'll be in the description box. Now, you can see I already had this. This is nice and ready to go. Over here, we got chicken stock. Look, we got a scotch bonnet. Here we got puree. Look, this is just tomato puree. That's ready to go. We got some oil, because this is what we're gonna put in here. And we're gonna go ahead and brown. Then we got some carrots. If you never ever had, you know, like this stew, this brown stew chicken, this right here is gonna be fire. So listen, I'm gonna make some rice and we're gonna serve it over the top like that, right? So look, this is what I'm getting ready to do. I'm gonna go ahead and start, I'm gonna start with a medium heat. Listen, because what we wanna do is we wanna get the bottom of this going. Now, bring this over here to myself, right here, right? Okay, so look, I'm gonna add my oil. You know what I mean? We'll just go ahead and add it like that. When you look in the description box and you look at the amount, it's gonna seem like a lot. But once you put it in there, you'll see that it really isn't that much. You know what I mean? So once that comes up to temp, what we're gonna do is, I'll show you just one second, but I'll tell it to you right now. We just wanna take this, since we had it marinating, right? We're gonna take the chicken, knock off whatever we can, any of the excess marinade, we wanna leave it in the bag, and then we're gonna place it in uh, skin side down first, because look, we're gonna brown it. Like I said, look, I'm just knocking off the green onions, you know, whatever I can, right? We'll just leave that in here like that. Now, I'm gonna take it and we're just gonna put it down, skin side down first. Then all you wanna do is continue the process. Okay, so now it's time to flip, right? We'll just flip it over and you can look and start to see that color right there. This is cool right here. Look at that right there. That's a lot of flavor, folks. Okay, so look, I'm gonna show you what it looked like on the bottom here. I'm gonna show you the flavor. Look at that right there. Listen, we not trying to cook it all the way down. And then I got me a little pan right here, cause look, I just wanna put this off, you know, to the side. The reason being, cause we cooking these in batches. But if you wanna see something that looks really, 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 really good, then this is it right here. Look at that right there. That's what you wanna see. That's the flavor, folks. Now. I got my temp just right. Now we're just gonna repeat the process. Let me do these other four, you know what I mean? And uh, then we'll move on to the next. This is super simple, folks. Okay, so we got our other four. Remember that was skin side down. That's just the way I start. I guess it really doesn't make a difference how you do it, but for me, that's the way I do it, right? Now, don't forget, we got the rest of our marinade. Look, this is a whole lot of goodness in here. The onion, everything is in here, right? Listen, don't discard this. This right here is key. We just gonna leave this right here. Why? Because after we get everything right, we're gonna add it back to this along with that and the rest of our ingredients. We're gonna hit it with a little bit of that seasoning too, and then we're gonna cook it, and that's why we call it the stew, folks. Okay, so look, what I did was I took everything out just so you guys can see. If you wanna talk about chicken that's been browned just right, look at that right there. If that don't say flavor, I don't know what does. So now I'm gonna take my knife. This is what we're gonna do here. I'm just gonna cut these down like this. You just want them to be like an, you know, you want them to be even so everything is ready at the same time, right? We're just gonna start adding this in the inside, just like you see. Don't forget, we got that marinade. We're gonna get all of that in here. Get this like this, and we're just gonna pour this in the inside. This right here, listen, this is gonna be a lot of the flavor. When I tell you over the top, that's what I mean, over the top with flavor, right? Shut this off to the side. Just move this around a little bit. This will help pick up some of that fine. You know, you got them onions down there. We just continue to like cook this. Ah, oh, yeah. You guys can see the way it's coming together right now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my puree. All right. And I'm gonna show you this part right here. Earlier I called this a habanero. Well, look, I call this a scotch bonnet. If you can't find a scotch bonnet, go ahead and use a habanero. I'm gonna just drop this in here right now because we're gonna put it in whole. 
we're not gonna cut it or do nothing like that. Now we're gonna raise it up a little bit, and then we're gonna add that flavor, folks. Oh yeah. Ooh -wee. Got that little bit of that Caribbean feel to it, don't it? Okay, so look, I want you guys to come on in here and look at this. So right now I'm waiting for the heat to, you know, catch back up so I can heat that up, right? If you look right here, look, my seasoning is finally out. Look, this is the A series, right? You got A and the B, but this right here, the A series of the level up, listen, this is for like your, your uh, poultry and your lighter meats, like when you're doing fish, stuff like that. So we put this already inside of the, uh, inside of our marinade, but look, I'm gonna add a little bit here. I just like to add like just about a, a teaspoon, right? Just about a teaspoon. That's all you need. That right there is just gonna give you that flavor. Now I'm gonna give this a mix. And as it's coming, notice, I always use, for me, I always use the square edge, right? It's perfect for us moving these across the bottom. You know what I mean? As we cooking it and it's heating up, I can feel it, ooh, it's starting to get nice and smooth on the bottom. And you know that fine, guess what folks? That fine is starting to mix with this. I ain't gonna say nothing. I'm not gonna over talk it. I'm gonna let you guys just figure it out. You can see it with your face. I mean, see it with your eyes. That right there will tell you, you know, what we are working with. Cause we building layers on top of layers. Now we finna bring this chicken back, right? So I'll grab this and what I'm gonna do is just start adding it, you know, to this. I'm gonna call it like a little bra, a little stew. We'll just keep it like that. And I'll just add it just like this. Look at that folks. If that don't say, hey, listen, it smells so incredible. I kind of like want to get down right now and just like eat one of these. But look, we're going to finish cooking it, you know, inside. Look at this right here. Ooh, wee. And you know what? In the past, you guys have seen me not pour that in. I don't know what I was thinking, but check this out. You see that right there? Whoops. All of it goes in, right? Now we cooking, folks. Okay, so look, now you guys can see, listen, we brought it up to a boil, that's fine, right? Now I'm gonna reduce my flame down to just a simmer. We just want to be nice and slow, right? Now that it's finna settle down and it's gonna simmer, look, I'm gonna add my top. This is key, folks. I go within an hour and a half to two hours. I'm gonna set my timer for an hour and a half just to check it out, you know what I mean? And then we'll go from there. Hey, so listen, we'll do that first and then if we decide that they need to go a little further, we'll go from there. Hey, and I'm gonna tell you this right now, I'm gonna serve this on top of some white rice and we are gonna eat, folks. All right, I'll see you guys in just a minute. Okay, folks, look, now for the moment of truth. Look at that right there. You can see this right here is all soft. I'm gonna leave it in there. Now look, I'm just gonna go ahead. As you can see, I got like a pot of rice I mean, excuse me, a plate of rice. I'm gonna go ahead and just take it. Look at that right there. We said stew, right? So this is it right here. I'm gonna go ahead and probably just put two on here. You know what I mean? Let me look for it. Ah, this one right here do just fine, you know? But I wanna get it, get it nice and soaked. And we'll just do it like this. Look at that right there, folks. Take a look at that. Ooh -wee. Now you just want to take it, don't forget we got them carrots, you know what I mean? I'm going to go ahead and just dress it up and do it like this. Now we're talking about eating good, folks. You know what I mean? Let me go down here, get a little bit of that ooey down here. And this right here, folks, is the way I like to eat. So listen, super easy to make, you know what I mean? Easy on the dishes, the whole shebang. All I can tell you is right now, I'm thinking it just needs just like a little bit of green to make it pop. I'm finna get a thumbnail. I'm finna cut this and we finna eat it, folks. Now look, after you've seen something that looked just I don't know, there's not that many things that look just, you know, as good as that. You know what I mean? I'm gonna go ahead and get my steak knife and just cut me some. Listen, now you know I can hit this with a fork, right? But I'm gonna go ahead and just cut it. Let's see, I hit a bone. Uh, let me just turn this around this way. You know what I mean? As you can see, it really don't need to look. When I hit it like this, you wanna talk about soft. That right there, this is it right here. So, take it. Mm. Cheers, y'all. Mm. Hold on. 
But hey, I don't know if you guys can get down there. Look, do I need to put it like this? Listen, this is, this is another way you can tell that I really like something. You know what I mean? Hey, listen, and the fact that I'm hungry too, this right here is fire. This can be served at a restaurant. And listen, you see how simple it is. You guys got to go ahead and make this. You know what I mean? Uh, just try it and tell me. Hey, now I know you guys saw me put that uh, scotch bonnet in there, right? Richie, really, that's what you're supposed to put in there, but that was a habanero. Listen, it is so kid friendly, you know what I mean? Because I really don't get down with all of them spicy peppers and all of that right there. This is just real nice. It gives a nice added, you know, a little touch to it. But I promise you, your kids going to like it too. Hey, and it's super simple. Hey, you know what I want to ask you guys? And let me know down in the comment section below. Check out this apron. I told you I got more color. Got this right here, this olive green. Obviously, you can see it's got the blue uh, strap. The red logo, red and white logo. You know, it goes good with everything. Listen, I got to get a lady on here. She got to wear it because this right here look good on the ladies too. Hey, but as you can see, it look good on me because I'm sporting my Dodger blue. Hey, with that being said, listen, if you like it, don't forget to go by my, you know, my website. Go ahead and take a look at that. If you like the boards, we got that for easy payments. You guys know the drill. It's all good. Hey, with that being said, let me just say this. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out here. It's a channel out here to simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking and with that being said folks i'm finna really get down oh and let me just say this part right here for those of you guys that stayed for the very very end it's the fresh green onion on the top to give it that nice little you know crunch when you you know bite into it that right there was a nice added touch it ain't always about the garnish you know hey with that being said i'm out peace